Hey guys, it is a beautiful morning in Alicitos, Baja. We have already started our day, had coffee, ate breakfast, and we are waiting for our friends to arrive from San Diego. They left early this morning. They should be here soon, and we'll catch you up on that later. So, beautiful day. We've just been enjoying the morning, watching the surfers. Watching the waves. My neighbor said that they've seen dolphins, so keep an eye out for dolphins. This is so nice. We fell asleep to the sound of the waves last night, and it was amazing. This is Alicitos, where K58 Surf Campground is. Right off the free road. The surf shop is right next door. You really can't miss this campground. If you get off of the free road at kilometer 58, you come through that arch, and then you just keep driving straight. There's really only one little intersection, if you want to call it that. And then you stop at the office and pay for the number of nights you'll be here. Welcome to the campground. There are restrooms. And there's an outside shower. There's also changing rooms if you need them. And, gentlemen, there's a urinal, a trough urinal. And they do clean this place up every day. So it's, um, it's pretty nice. And then once you get in the campground, you just pick your campsite. We got here kind of busy on a Sunday afternoon and everybody was, there were weekenders, they were heading out. And so we parked where we could and then everybody left. So we have plenty of spots. Each spot has chalk lines kind of mark you in. And these are great because they back right up to the ocean. This campground, you're on a cliff, so you got great views of the ocean below. And then there's a walkway that you can take down. There's a sandy beach down there about a half a mile long, so you can go down, walk, run, Hang out on the sand if you'd like. Nice little sand break. We, of course, parked with our butt overlooking the cliff, looking down on the ocean. And that's really it with K58. It's a pretty sweet place. About $10 a night. 10 US, uh, 100, 200 pesos more or less, a little bit more, uh, but it's a great value for what you get. You're dry camping, um, there is water for the showers and you could, uh, there's a sink, so you could in theory fill up if you needed to, um, but you're dry camping, so make sure you have your solar and that'll give you your power and your water and you're good to go. Hey, drone zero here. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a 
good distance or yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes. Guy in a little suit. <laughs> Fat guy in a little suit. <laughs> Trying this out. Pedro. Pedro brought it for me. I've been wearing my heavy top and my spring suit, which fit this fat guy. <laughs> but this thing, it might be too it small. It might be too small. <laughs> but if I can surf waves here in November in my spring suit, then I think if we were to continue on south in the summer, in the summer, then I could definitely, okay. yeah, I could definitely. Yeah. Fat guy. Stop. <laughs> fat guy in a fat suit. Stop. <laughs> You're ruining it. Stop. 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 So since we've been here a couple days in Alositos, we have just been living kind of easy and relaxing a lot more. Um, it's not the easy life. We, um, we're still getting some work done with our digital jobs, but we also are enjoying life and friendship and planning and thinking about the future. Not too far ahead, but um, meeting up with Pedro and Z has been awesome because we're hoping to be able to go you know, a really long way with them starting in the spring when they're able to hit the road. So this is just another little warm up session for us, getting together for a, a nice four days together and checking out Baja. They'll be leaving us tomorrow to go back to San Diego and back to real life and finish up their savings and preparation. And then we'll join them in the spring or they'll join us in the spring and we will continue our southward trek together. Um, so we're planning, so we're thinking but we'll see how it goes. So after a couple of days here in Alositos, we're gonna go have lunch at La Fonda, which is a pretty popular restaurant here. In fact, we're gonna tell you why you need to go there in a couple minutes. Um, but it's gonna be an awesome little restaurant for lunch. I'm starving. Yeah. Here they have octopus, they like whole know. octopus they fry up and serve. Really? Yeah, you have to cut it up like a steak. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, it's awesome, we're gonna get one. <laughs> So we're going to follow Pedro and Z out and go to the parking lot, the restaurant, go in, have lunch, and then we'll be heading out toward the wine country. Yep, Valle de Guadalupe. Valle de Guadalupe. So here we go.
So we are at La Fonda restaurant. Gary's, Gary's La Fonda. Gary's La Fonda. And uh, the reason we're here is yesterday, Pedro and I walked over to um, try to find a place where we could drop off some donations. There was a terrible fire here last week and uh, it left a lot of people, thousands of people without homes and without food and um, everything you'd have in a home. So we, we've, so we have some donations we want to drop off and we went in and we talked with the general manager, Alex, and he said that not only will they take donations for the fire and, and they'll make sure they get to the right people, but anytime anybody drops anything off, uh, bring it to La Fonda restaurant. And he said, spread the word. So we are spreading the word to you right now. When you travel this way, even if you don't camp at Alicitos, if you swing by here, grab a bite to eat, drop off anything you can donate. Um, they normally donate to orphanages in Ensenada. And if you're coming down anytime in the next little bit, it'll go also to fire relief. So we are really stoked about being able to drop stuff off here. We're stoked about having a contact for travel. This is why we're, why we're doing what we're doing. We're trying to connect you to places where you can have an awesome time traveling, but also make a difference while you're there. Cielo, pretty popular vineyard. It's beautiful. It means the sky. Yeah. So, good. <laughs> so we have more because of your size. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs>
So I made it to the campground after going to El Cielo Vineyard. And uh, we had a nice dirt road getting here in the dark. Yeah. But that's because we were... A little bumpy. Yeah, we were following Pedro and Z. So we trusted them to lead us 10 miles in the dark. So we're all set up for the night and um, probably make it a little early night. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is breakfast. Breakfast. And apparently the best breakfast place in the world apparently we'll be the judge of that tomorrow. i forgot the name of it though yeah i don't know it's but got a it's, it's in valley de guadalupe it's got a spanish name and it's me yes, it's mexican we heard it's the best breakfast yeah. joint so here. so we're going we'll, i'm excited yeah we're gonna do that tomorrow morning and then um and then we'll kind of play it by ear because we're gonna have to say goodbye to pedro and z yeah tomorrow afternoon and um, too fast. and then we'll figure out our plans because we're we're gonna think we're gonna be heading to San Felipe, but we're also gonna try to connect with the zoo here in Valle de Guadalupe, see if we can't do some volunteer work for the zoo while we're here. Mm -hmm. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Manana, manana, <laughs> manana, manana. That's all we worry about. Manana, manana. If you enjoyed being on this journey with us today, we'd appreciate it if you would like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. And if you want to leave us a positive comment, please leave us a positive comment. Only positive comments, so we appreciate those. <laughs> We're trying to make the world a better place through positive comments. What are you looking at? The camera. I hope you like the video. As much as we like making it. Yep. Good night.